The advice I always have to uh, founders is to learn that skill in-house. There's a, a secret hook by founders that once they, put it, once they put their app in the App Store or they launch their, their web product that uh, if they share a few things on within their own social networks uh, organically on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram that their friends would know about it, their friends' friends would know about it and it would really grow. The realization that comes in that there needs to be ads. They know they need to do ads. It's not new to them, but they want to postpone it and they don't feel that they need to do it. The second phase I commonly see is some mild, shy experimentation, which is, uh, involves either putting their own credit card, trying to experiment with uh, uh, basic targeting and launching ad campaigns, or involving potentially a freelancer to help them out with that. So it's a, a shy attempt with a small budget. And then what usually happens is it's either there's little activity around their app or, or website, or uh, it, it doesn't attract, that campaign does not attract the exact type of customers that they're hoping to attract to uh, transact or be active within their apps. And the third phase would be when they go out and they look for companies to do this for them. That phase involves getting quotes and trying to identify uh, the right partner to do this for them and so on. And that's six months to a year worth of execution where they're paying a third party to do, do, to do the work and that usually is a shared resource, a shared resource within an organization. And also they're paying for Facebook, Instagram, and Google and others. The advice I always have to uh, founders is to learn that skill in-house. They're paying the money anyway. Uh, I might as well learn that internally as a skill and for them as a founder to understand it in the beginning before they hand it over to an intern, a freelancer, a new hire, or even a, 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 an external third party. The importance for them to learn it on their own is critical because that's the core business. That's where the that's where the you know their business, their money comes from. I know founders look at it as it's an additional cost, and I cannot spend uh, ten thousand dirhams or real to try to try to get those customers on a monthly basis. But uh, the thing is, uh, the costs of Facebook and Instagram ads today, and even the Google ads as well, are relatively cost effective compared to other channels. So you're able to reach 50,000 people, 100,000 people, 200,000 people uh, with a relatively lower cost than you would able to do with traditional methods, which are, you know, flyers, uh, paying for a booth at an event or whatever, uh, a magazine ad. So those are the other venues for you to reach uh, a certain thousands of people that you can easily get in a much shorter amount of time, much lower cost by running ads on, uh, on Facebook and Instagram and Google. So what I, look, what I would focus on are the skill set that the founder would need to learn him or herself. And the second is the budget before they go into a campaign. I see these shy attempts of a few thousand here, a few thousand there. Those are not enough to say, I can do this and I'm able to find found my pocket. What I uh, generally recommend, depending on the startup, is to have be able to allocate six months worth of budget. And I'm not talking about the 2,000 dirhams. It's a significant budget uh, related to uh, running campaigns. We're looking at anywhere from uh, 10,000 dirhams to, 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 to 15,000. So 10 to 15,000 dirhams a month would be a good start if you're trying to target uh, 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 the Emirates uh, or, uh, or in Saudi Arabia. I know a lot of people don't have that money in terms of founders. And the common mistake I see for that is you had the money when you wanted to build your product, but you've chosen to go really deep in your product. Uh, what the Hollywood movies that we all watch and we tend to enjoy, they have a small percentage of their budget to pay the, the super actors and actresses, the, the, the great 3D effects. More than 70% of their budget is for promoting it and promoting that movie for us to know about it and to go and see it. This is why sometimes we go and see a, a, a big hyped up movie that we're excited to see, but then it's a terrible movie because the cost of, 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 of creating it was very small and then the budget was huge to promote it. What I'm saying is go out with a smaller product. Instead of going with 20 features out when you start, start with 10, 8 to get started. So 8 features is still decent versus the 20. Use that, the rest of the budget, to get enough users to tell you what they really want, the features they really want. It gives you the activity so you'd get feedback on your product. You'd also get 
uh, uh, enough activity to potentially go out and raise more money. To summarize, skill set for you to learn personally as a founder before you hand it over to an intern or a freelancer or, or a third party to do this. And the second is a significant budget for you to run ad campaigns systematically over six months for you to be able to identify what is working for you, what is not working for you. And that budget comes from an earlier uh, friends and family, from an earlier budget for friends and family round and spending less on tech uh, and more on the promotional aspect.